Hi, it's teacher Melissa and I want to give you a quick little bonus video this morning about something that I did in a number of my classes today. Okay, it's August 10th, 2019 right now. So there is a large typhoon that is moving through the Shanghai portion of China and it is moving up the coast. So I had a student this morning tell me that the typhoon is not to her yet. Um, it will be coming tomorrow. So it's similar to a hurricane moving up the coast of the United States. So I, of course, wanted to use this with my upper level students. Now, I only did this level four and up. You could maybe do it with a level three, maybe. But this is something that I did as an extension question at the beginning of class because I know the answer. So I want to kind of draw my student out and they think it's kind of fun and interesting to talk about. So I just want to show you what I did in class and see if this might work for you in one of your classes uh, this evening or tomorrow or the next few days. You could use this to talk about the weather in China. Now keep in mind, China's like the United States. It's very large and there are sections that are not affected by the typhoon at all. I live in Ohio. I am rarely affected at all by a hurricane in Florida or Louisiana, except for I get a little bit of rainy weather a few days later. So China is the same. So keep that in mind. You might have a lot of cancellations because of the typhoon and some other students are not at all. It doesn't matter. I'm asking every student the same question in my upper levels so that they can talk about it in class. So here's what it looks like in my class. Hi, Harry. How are you today? Harry, can I ask you a question? I heard that there was some bad weather in China today. Is that true? Is there bad weather in China? Harry says, yes. I say, are bad weather where you live? Harry said, no, he lives in Beijing, and so there's no bad weather there. That's fine. Harry can say, yes. One student said, yes, it's tomorrow. Okay, what, what is that called? And they sit and they think because they're trying to think of the English word. I don't want them to give me the English word. I'll say, you, you be teacher Harry. Teach me Chinese today, okay? And then their eyes light up. What is it called? And they're going to say the word. If you don't know it, I'm going to teach it to you here. They're going to say the word. I'm going to say, hmm, help me. Help me to learn that. How do I spell that? It starts with a T. You'll be able to hear that. So I say, T, how do you spell that? T, and they'll spell it for me. And then they'll say it. Taifeng, Taifeng. Now, I'm not saying it right. I don't speak, speak Mandarin. I'm not very good at this at all, but this is how they will spell it for you. Typhoon, I'll say, oh, and I'll try it a few times. They'll laugh. I'll get it wrong. Close enough. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you for helping me practice Chinese. In English, we say typhoon. Typhoon, typhoon. They sound similar. Yes, typhoon, yes. This is fascinating to me and it's fascinating to the students. I think we only call it typhoon because some English speaking person couldn't say this in Mandarin just like I can't and it turned into this, that's what I think. But anyway, it's interesting for students to see them side by side. Tai and Tai have the same sound. Tai, Tai, F, and pH have the same sound. So it's very similar. Again, I'm not doing this with a level two, folks. I'm doing this with a four, five, six, seven plus. So I will ask them this, okay? Great, interesting, thank you. Now, at a level six, very advanced, so I can go even further, okay? In English, we say typhoon if it is in Asia. China, Japan, if it is in Asia, it is called typhoon. But in North America, South America, this kind of storm on my part of the world, my side of Earth, is called a hurricane. 
So I'll teach them another English word. Hurricane. North America, South America, the English word is hurricane. Asia, the English word is typhoon. So this is an even, then I can write in feedback. For an extension conversation today, we talked about the English word typhoon for a storm in Asia and hurricane for a storm in North or South America. Now, I know it's not just Asia. I know it depends on what hemisphere. I'm not going into all that. Too much incidental language. I'm giving them a basic understanding and adding some extension words. Now, with this level six student, I was able to also say, I live in Ohio. I am not by the coast. I will never have a hurricane where I live. He told me he will never have a typhoon where he lives. So you can extend as much as you want or need to to fill in time. But this is a great way to, no matter where your student lives, to have a little bit of extension conversation and just talk about how much our languages can also be alike. We don't get to do this in Chinese speaking classes very often, point out that our languages are similar, and that is very interesting and a great cultural exchange for your students. So try that out today and see if that works. And keep this in mind for the future, because just as we have a hurricane season, they have a typhoon season, and these will come up and will be part of your students' cultural awareness of their country in the coming months.